the uh, next, next fellow up is uh, Gary Shanley. What can I say about uh, Gary? Uh, Gary Shanley is a good friend, a wonderful comedian, and the only man I know who fakes orgasm during masturbation. <laughs> yeah, I, I also happen to know that Gary prefers masturbation to actually being with a woman because when he's done, he doesn't have to send his hand home in a cab. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's give a well-oiled hand to Gary Shandling. Actually, what I like to do after I masturbate is uh, get up in front of a crowd and tell some jokes. So <laughs> this is going to work out perfectly. This is. As far as I'm concerned, an afternoon for me. <laughs> uh, I guess people in show business like Pee Wee and uh, they jump on you for masturbating and they, they wouldn't arrest the normal guy. Well, anyway, I mean, if I was arrested every time I masturbated, I'd be the Birdman of Alcatraz. <laughs> but enough of the big jokes. Let me. <laughs> go on to say that I'm not that comfortable. Uh, uh, I haven't done uh, roasts like this. I also uh, am not uh, comfortable being uh, filthy. And Rob assured me that uh, it was going to be, and I guess the joke is on me, a sort of cleaner kind of uh, roast. So, because Janice is there and uh, your mom is here and they're both looking at each other thinking, you know, hey, how are we going to divide up his money when he dies? And... <laughs> You know, he's, he's a Jew under this kind of pressure. You don't have long. <laughs> and, uh, I, and, and, and I hate to break this to, to Janice and uh, that Billy, while making a lot of money, does not have a lot of money. He's made some horrible investments. I happen to know for a fact that five years ago he put all his money into pussy and now you can't give it away. <laughs> You're a wonderful audience. <laughs> but he did have enough money, and this is uh, true, to uh, renovate his house, which took about a year and a half, and added on a beautiful new, huge uh, master bedroom, and then decorated it with dollhouse furniture so his penis looks bigger than it is. It's, a, <laughs> it's an illusion. Janice walks around saying, it's bigger than his desk. I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> and that's why uh, Rob thinks he has big balls. But in fact... That is not the case. I've seen them, and uh, <laughs> they're not that large at all. In fact, Billy will not tell you his penis size until we switch to the metric system. <laughs> He's a wonderful guy. I've known, you know, Billy and I are both animal lovers. Billy uh, called me up once. I remember he found a stray dog, called me up, and said, uh, uh, my dog's penis tastes bitter. Do you know what causes that? And uh, <laughs> He cares about animals. He, look what man does for, are these good segues, by the way? Look what he does for causes like uh, comic relief, the homeless, and, and, and uh, well, he's too shy to take credit for these things. And unlike Jerry Lewis, by the way, who will not tell us why he helps muscular dystrophy, Billy confided in me that the reason he really started comic relief with Robin and Whoopi, who, by the way, Billy told me, at a party, if you sit on Whoopi, it makes a fart sound. <laughs> Billy, that he started Comic Relief because, in fact, he used to date a lot of homeless women because it was easier to talk him into staying over. I didn't get to see uh, Mr. Saturday Night last night. Congratulations, I heard it went great. Billy, I know ages from 30 to 70 in the movie, much like we did listening to Bob Sachs. <laughs> and Woody, uh, of course, uh, has a really, fr really frightened is the truth because Woody's getting so much publicity at the same time Billy's movie comes out. And Billy's really a competitive guy. He's having a press conference uh, next week to announce that he's been uh, fucking Macaulay Culkin.
Billy just said just twice. So what's the big fucking deal? Uh, and actually, uh, I've known Billy uh, a long time as well. And, uh, you know, Billy this is, is a wonderful guy and really hasn't changed that much uh, since he's become a big star. I met Billy, uh, we were in college, and to give you an idea of, of the kind of, uh, of life Billy had then and how he hasn't really changed, Billy, um, well, this is really just a, a cute story, but Billy uh, had um, uh, in college a, a chimp uh, that was his pet. And uh, this is a, a, true, a true story. And, uh, and, and also, you want, didn't you want to be a doctor at one point? That's true. He did. He did. That has nothing to do with it. But I, just re I remember saying to Billy once, I used to go to him for medical advice. I said, my penis is burning. He said, that just means someone's talking about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I didn't know Billy well, and he had this uh, chimp, and I'd never been over to his apartment, and uh, I went over there for the first time. He'd had this chimp for, I guess, about a year, and I'd never uh, been in Billy's uh, apartment before, and you know when you go into someone's house for the first time, it reveals a lot about them and how they live and what they're all about, and I remember opening that door and walking into Billy's apartment with Billy, and the chimp sauce come in, and the chimp jumped up on the dresser and wiped his hand in some Vaseline, wiped it on his ass, and bent over, you know? And Billy's going, I swear, I never saw him do this before. I said, yeah, sure. And uh, Billy's going, that's a bad, bad chimp. You're a bad chimp. And uh, on that note, I just want to say how uh, happy I am that you're my friend. And have a wonderful afternoon. You're well-deserving of this. Thanks. Thank you all. Good joke. Yeah,